the Himalayan peaks are pointing up. The trees on the Himalayan uh, Himalaya, though there is a steep incline, all trees are pointing up. If the trees are not pointing up, if they are uh, uh, parallel to the ground, they will fall down. What Himalayas are uh, telling us, you always must look up, move up in your life. If you are not moving up, you will become irrelevant. You have to move up, there is no option. The circumference around the Himalayas at the base it's a big circumference. As you move up, circumference reduces. At the base, lot of uh, freedom in the base camp. Degree of freedom is high. As you start moving up, you become intense in your life. At the base camp, no intensity, casual life. As you start moving up, life becomes intense and as you start moving up, the degree of freedom also reduces. You know only way is move up. When you reach the summit, you congratulate yourself. It's a worth the effort. Worth the effort I have reached here. The Himalayan mountain peaks are talking about that one. The Himalaya, everyone go, goes to the Himalayas, they count, the recognize the mountains by the peaks, they count the peaks, one peak, second, third, they are, only peaks are standing out, they are counting because they are stand alone and stand out. If you want to be recognized in the society, stand out and stand alone. If you get uh, embroiled in the crowd, <clears throat> you will get lost. You become no one, stand out and stand alone. That is uh, Himalaya is talking about. <coughs> in the Himalayan peaks, Himalayan peaks, uh, though the uh, peaks are the harsh conditions, as you go up harsh condition, but still, at the foothill, it the exotic herbs, plants are there, exotic uh, vegetation is there. What it is uh, talking about, Himalayan peaks are there in incline in your life. You are moving up in your life, but still, like uh, Himalaya, you, are, uh, you should be of value for others. You have to contribute to the community where you have nourished from. You have gone up in your life, gone up through your practice, but still you should not forget the community where you have come from. It has uh, nourishing, nourishing the, uh, the uh, so, uh, tree, trees, uh, nourishing, rivers are flowing, rivers are flowing. The Himalayan condition is uh, so severe at the top, severe top, but at the base rivers are flowing. It is nourishing the rivers others to flow, you are going up in your life, however challenging is your life, harsh condition, but rivers are flowing, you should be value for others. Not to say that I am going through the tough time, I can't contribute. As you are going, tough time, but still at the base, you are, rivers are flowing, and so many communities are nourished, you should be of value. Not to say that, I am having a tough time, I can't do that one. And the Himalayan mountain, at the foothill, it is warmer than at the top. It is saying that a top is cooler. In our personality also, your feet must be warm and head must be cool. Not the other way around, hot head and cool feet. What it is saying that, you should be active in your life. When you are active, feet is uh, feet are uh, uh, warm and mind should be calm, serene, through practice, handle the challenges. Tough time comes, serene, Himalaya is saying, cool-headedness, 
warm feet it is uh, talking about that one and himalaya the himalaya um, it is uh, 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 talking about uh, when it is going up it is the uh, going up the able to go up go up it is going up still nourishing so many cattle and in himalayas at the foothill so many animals are there cattle are there and other vegetations are there but it is going up how it is doing it is saying that you also must have two chambers in your life one is an inner chamber it is uh, intense it is going up intense conditions are severe have inside is a inner chamber outside you are available for the community outside you are available for the community inside it is for your private chamber you should have that one private chamber if the mountains are not there there won't be any valley there won't be any valley to have the valley you mountain himalaya should be there if there is no inner chamber if you are not having a inner chamber only the outer chamber only out, outbound activity you cannot sustain you will burn out you will burn out in no time to stay relevant you must have a inner chamber then only you can sustain otherwise you will burn out you can't survive the inner chamber must be there the muladhara chakra has four petals swadhisthana has six petals manipura has 10 uh, petals and uh, anahata chakra at the heart center 12 petals vishuddha chakra uh, 16 petals here is 1000 petals petals indicates freedom as you move up your consciousness moves up freedom in your life increases the freedom increases if you are only at the base you have no freedom in your life only the outer show only the outer show and to have the freedom you have to move up as you move up degree of freedom in your life increases degree of freedom increases move up move up elevate your consciousness to uh, uh, experience the freedom the shop floor person has uh, no freedom but the owner of the company has freedom freedom to experience the freedom you, like that you have to move up as you move up your freedom the shop floor person only does what is been told there is no freedom as you go up you experience the freedom in your life move up move up to experience the freedom to move up in your life to move up in your life in the himalayan mountain it is talking about you have to move travel light <coughs> if you have a heavy baggage you can't go up on the top b travel light travel light travel light not to be too possessive of your name and fame that baggage it won't allow you to go up travel light become nobody become nobody in your life to experience the freedom the pilgrimage why we go on a pilgrimage to himalayas in himalayas you become nobody you are not sleeping on in your own bed you are not getting what you are your uh, daily routine comforts you become nobody when you become nobody you have offloaded all your excess baggage when you have offloaded your excess baggage you can travel higher in your life and himalaya himalaya is uh, talking about uh, uh, the, the himalayan salt on the himalayan salt is there that himalaya was there in the ocean before that salt it was picked up from the ocean it has come up on the himalaya come uh, it has come up on the himalaya so it has traveled all the way from the ocean up now things may be there tomorrow may not be there 
not to be too proud or not too depressed about what you have, what you don't have. And salt is found from the ocean on the Himalayan top. So, what is there, what is not there, it is things can change. Things can change the Himalaya. The Himalaya, the another name of Himalaya is called as Himalaya. Hema means gold. In uh, uh, Mahabharata, uh, uh, after uh, the war, Yudhishthira wanted the funds to run the uh, kingdom. He approached uh, Vedavyasa. Vedavyasa asked him to go to Himalayas. The Pandavas along with the army went there with elephants, uh, camels, uh, horses, bullock cart, they brought uh, uh, unimaginable uh, amount of gold, precious stone from Himalayas. They got, it is, uh, Mahabharata says, Himalaya is Himalaya. It is not, many things are not revealed to human eyes. It is there. It is there, Himalaya. They, uh, 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 they rebuilt the territory by at the advice of uh, Vedavyasa. Many things in Himalayas are not revealed to the ordinary eyes. They are not competent enough. What they will do, yogis go and meditate on Himalayas, indicating wealth is nothing for me. That I want to stand above the wealth. It should not be a temptation. They meditate on that one. Contemplate on that one. They contemplate on Himalayas. Steady. Outer, no disturbance. I am not getting tempted by anyone. My mind is tuning up. Like Himalayan peaks are pointing up. My po mind is tuned to the higher possibilities in my life. I am tuning myself to the higher possibilities. I want to move up. I don't want to stop halfway, I want to move up. I want to move up in my life. The Himalaya is uh, talking about you have to move up in your life and Himalaya is an inspiration. Inspiration for not for now alone, for centuries, for thousands of centuries, seekers around the world are drawn to Himalayas. The Himalayas, they are drawn towards the Himalayas for meditation. They want to experience the Himalaya. Hema means not only the outer gold. They want to experience the real treasure within. And the real treasure, treasure within. I will touch upon another dimension of Himalaya next week. <laughs>